A sleepwalking mother woke up in the middle of a sleepwalk to find herself chugging a bottle of bleach. Well, that's not something you hear every day, is it? Welcome back to IO. We do the news and make it entertaining. Nice to meet you. I'm Charlotte, and hey, I can tell we're gonna be friends. If you wanna come hang out with me on the daily, hit that subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss one of our videos. And if you just can't get enough of the IO hosts, all the links to our socials are posted in the description. Before I get into this video, I want to know what was the weirdest dream you've ever had. 41 year old Andrea Davidson is a sleepwalker. She sleepwalks on the regular, but her sleepwalking got a lot worse as she was watching her dad and father in law battle cancer. Andrea suffers from parasomnia, a condition where people do ordinary things while they sleep. People who suffer from parasomnia have been known to experience sleepwalking, sleep aggression, sleep paralysis, and even sleep sex. Andrea often wakes up in the middle of a sleepwalk in a strange place. Finding herself standing in her pajamas in the garden is a regular occurrence. She also sleep eats. When she wakes up, she finds leftover food from when she ate while sleeping. She's even had to hide her car keys from herself because one time, she had driven to her mom's house while asleep at the wheel. That's uh... That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? Fast forward to recently, Andrea was sleepwalking in the middle of the night and she woke up gulping down bleach. Obviously, this is really concerning. Andrea thought that she was gonna die. I mean, yeah, bleach is not something you wanna drink. I know it's a thing on YouTube to tell people to drink bleach, but it's actually really dangerous. She said, that night I woke up drinking bleach. It had burned my throat. I must have thought it was something to drink. I was holding the bleach bottle in one hand and a ginger nut biscuit in the other. I have no idea how much of that I drank, but I woke up gulping it down like it was juice. I tried to make myself sick, then phoned an ambulance. The paramedics could smell it on my breath. Medical staff thought that she was attempting suicide and that she had drank the bleach on purpose, but Andrea was insistent that she was sleeping the whole time. Bleach won't kill you if you drink a small amount. The most you'll get is an upset stomach, but if you chug it, yeah, that's a different story. Within the first few hours of chugging a bottle of bleach, you will experience gagging, vomiting, pain, irritation of the mouth and throat, and burns in the esophagus and stomach. Depending on how much you drink and if you don't treat the symptoms immediately, you can permanently damage your gastrointestinal tract and internal organs. It is possible to die from drinking bleach, and that's exactly what Andrea was afraid of. She didn't purposefully drink the bleach either, even though everyone was treating her like she did. Andrea said again, because my dad was dying, people thought I wasn't coping. It was a very bizarre place to be in when I wasn't suicidal. The hospital gave me something to empty my stomach and I was violently sick. The good news is Andrea spent only one night at the South End Hospital in Essex and she was released the next day because she made a full recovery. She now wants to spread awareness about just how dangerous sleepwalking can be. Now she practices mindfulness before she goes to bed and her partner is on guard to make sure nothing else happens while Andrea is sleeping. Honestly, I'm just glad Andrea is okay. Tell me your thoughts on the story as well as your your craziest dreams down there in the comments. For now, I'm gonna respond to some comments from our video. Danielle Khan is actually 13. Checkered Rose said, this girl's age is faker than my personality. That's uh, not something you wanna be telling people. Four of Pentacles said, Charlotte is bae. No, you. Pranamika Verma said, you should have a potato background. I feel like we can do that. Can we do that, editors? Chris the third said, Charlotte, it's been 13 days in a row that I've commented, but I still haven't been featured. I've been a loyal potato. Okay. Okay, here's your future. That's it for me, thanks for watching. If you wanna keep watching, check out this playlist. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you in a future IO video.